we have the east wind and the west wind. Someone say east wind. East wind. I can feel you. East wind. Say it one more time. East wind. And west wind. West wind. So uh, basically, um, the people of Israel, they were in Egypt. Pharaoh is acting up. He doesn't want to do anything at all. And God wanted to perform some miracles to scare Pharaoh. So all of a sudden, God act, um, instructed Moses to do a perform a direction. And all of a sudden, um, locust. Someone say locust. Locust. You know, grasshopper. You know, locust. Huge grasshoppers. They came over their land and destroyed all their harvest. Now, the locust, the grasshoppers, that moved straight on the land and destroyed everything. They were carried into the land. Hear me right now. With the east wind. Someone say east wind. East wind. So the east wind is sent to bring destruction. The east wind is sent to bring destruction. Now, after the locusts came and they came to act up and everything, when God wanted the locusts to move away, he sent the west wind to clear the path. So your west wind is what God used to clear out every disaster away from you. Yes, Lord Jesus. So um, we have the east wind and the west wind. The same way to when they encountered the Red Sea and God wanted the Red Sea to part. God used the east wind to clear the water so that they can enter. And if God permits, on Sunday, I'll give you serious prophetic directions. Because this mystery, if you don't know, somebody will use an east wind to bring trouble to you. And any time you want your life to be cleared, it's done by the west wind. So I'll give serious revelation about that. We have, the, we have the east, we have the west wind, and we have the north and the south winds. One of them also bring about prosperity. So if you are there and somebody activate in the west wind, east wind, to bring pain, to bring sickness into your life, I use the west wind to shift it away Amen. in the name of Jesus. So don't take my word for my word. Um, Ezra chapter 10, verse number 13. And we just walk straight into 19. Then I'll tell you why I came here today. Amen. So Moses stretched out his hand and his staff over Egypt. And the Lord made. Someone say the Lord made. The Lord made. An east wind blow. No, I'm the one speaking. An east wind blow across the land all that day and all that night. By morning, the wind had brought about what? The, the locust. locust. Locusts are sent to destroy a person's harvest. So next time you have your harvest, all of a sudden, you lose everything. Check the east wind. Somebody has activated the east wind. That's why sometimes when trouble happens to a person in our language, we say that, ah, and from Aboni be Abono is the east wind. Now when God had to take away the locusts, he used the west wind, 19. And that's what I'm teaching about. On Sundays when I really teach about this. Amen. If in case you respect God, you can put your phone on silent. In case you respect God. Amen. Um, now, and the Lord, look at it right now. And the Lord chained the wind into a very, what? Strong west, west wind, wind. Which, so the west wind caught up the locust and carried them into the sea. So if the devil has brought some locust in your life, today I came to activate yes, Jesus. some strong west wind. Yes, Lord. And I take it away from your life. Now. Anything that is supposed to bring you pain, Jesus. let the west wind take it away in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. These are secrets that if you don't know in life, somebody can use them against you. Never ever forget about it. When, when, you, want, when you want showers of blessings, good things to fall on your life, it's a, um, they activated by the west wind. Showers of blessings. So Jesus Christ came and he confirmed. He says, in the time the cloud, you know, the cloud is connected to the wind, shows up in the west, you know that um, showers are about to come. 12 verse 54, Luke. See something there? Then I'll just tell you why I came here. Jesus said to the crowd, when you see a cloud, this one, if you are from Kumasi like me and you are reading, you have to be very careful because there are two, crowd and cloud. So if you, if you are not careful, you mix the two of them. So this one, you have to be careful to read it very well. Amen. Amen. Because we, we, we still struggle. Amen. Those who are not laughing, you are also from Kwanzaa like me. Amen. Amen. So look at it right now. He says, he said to the crowd, when you see a cloud rising in the west, immediately you say it is going to rain. So when in the time the west wind shows up, it means your rain is falling. And mind you, your rain helps your harvest. So anytime you don't see your harvest, there's an attack on your west wind. 
The NLT says showers, 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 showers of blessings, showers. It says, Jesus turned to the crowd and said, when you see clouds beginning to form in the west, beginning to form in the west, here comes, and you say, here comes a shower. So if you want showers of good health, showers of success, showers of elevation, they are activated by the west wind. And today I activate them on yes, your behalf. Lord, amen. And that's all what I'm preaching about. I just gave you a preamble. On Sunday, I will get them to teach you about this. If somebody hijacks your west wind, you are in problem. And when somebody activates east wind against you too, you are in problem. But when your west wind is also activated, you move to another dimension. And today yes, I Lord. activate your west wind. Amen. May the west wind blow around your house. Amen. So it's not every wind. Blowing, that is just a normal wind. Not every air you see blowing, that is normal. There are different things that happen behind the scenes. Amen? Now, I came to speak to you about God shining his face on you. Say, Jehovah. Jehovah. Shine your face on me. Shine your face on me. Let your grace. Let your grace. Show up in my life. Show up in my life. Say, God, shine your face on me. Let's go. God, shine your face on me. Again. God, shine your face on me. For the last time. God, shine your face on me. So let's go to Ezekiel chapter 39, verse number 23. About when he hides his face from you, what happens around you. Ezekiel chapter 39, verse number 23. When he hides his face away from you. So that you can really recognize and enjoy God shining his face on you. Ezekiel chapter 39, verse number 23. Ezekiel chapter 39, verse number 23. It says, And the nations who know that the people of Israel went into exile because of their sin, because they were unfaithful to me. So I hid my face from them and handed them over to their enemies. And they all fell by the sword. Lift up your hands. It says, The moment I hid my face from them, I handed them over to their enemies. Lift up your right hand. Jesus. May you Yes, Never be handed over yes, into Lord. the hands of your enemies. Amen. Jesus. Lord. I speak divine grace. Amen. I speak divine glory. Amen. May you not be handed over. Say, Jesus. I will not be handed over. I will not be handed over. Say, I will not be handed over. 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 Into their hands. Into their hands. Put your hand down. There are some hands that you don't want to be handed over to. One day, David had an issue with God. And, you know, David went to a realm. I like the realm that David entered into. David's realm that he entered into was so powerful that God came to him and asked him some three questions and said to him, you have done something bad. I'm bringing ten troubles. Choose one. That one alone is a miracle for David. For you to get to a realm and God will come and tell you, you have done something bad. There are three troubles. Choose one. That's why the Bible said David was a man after God's own heart. May you get to the realm where you have yes, conversations Lord. with God. Amen. You have to get to the place where God will see you as a friend. Yes, Lord. Is it three troubles? Choose one. He said, one of them, there will be severe famine. The second one, your enemies will be chasing you every day. And the third one, he said, myself, my God, me, me God, I will send a particular angel to come and kill people. Choose one. And all these three, I, 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 I was thinking what David would choose. And David said, number one, I don't like the famine because when the famine comes, there will be no food and people will die. When my enemies chase after me, my enemies, I know them, they are very wicked. Then he said, the angel that God was sent to come and kill, let that angel come. come. Then he says something. He says, when the angel comes, I know that I can go to God. And I, I, I can ask for mercy. But when my enemies are chasing me, I don't want to fall into the hands of human beings. Yes, can I declare to somebody, Jesus. may you not fall into the hands of human beings. Amen. And truly, I'm the when the angels started killing people. And David also knew the secret. The moment the angels started killing people, he looked for a man's farm. He bought the farm from the man. He built an altar. When the altar was built... When the angel of death was moving, when the angel got to the farm where the altar was, God said to the angel, stop it. 
because God saw an angel. I saw an altar. I came to ask you, where, where is your altar? Which altar is behind you? So David knew that, let God come and do the, the oppressor, you know. So I, but so, when you altar, I mean, I know what do. Yes. When you altar, no matter what, I'm going to so I, and let me activate the altar way on your behalf. If crises are coming to you, Jesus. let this altar stop it in amen. the name. So the altar is working for me. The altar is working for me. So it says when God hides his face from you, he hands you over into their hands. And today, if God has hidden his face away from anybody, by the mercies and by the grace of God. Jesus. May God begin to shine his face back onto you. Amen. Enjoy his grace and his goodness in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, Jehovah, shine your face on me. Jehovah, shine your face on Jehovah, me. Jehovah, shine your face on me. Jehovah, shine your face on me. By your goodness. By your goodness. Now, when God shines his face on you, he smiles on you, and this is what he does in your life, he gives you better times. God gives you better times. Someone say better times. Better times. Oh, I can say better times. Better times. Do you need better times from God? Yes. Place your hand on your head and just declare God better times. Better God, better Begin times. Begin to speak in the next one minute. Better times. Speak and activate your better times. Enjoy your better times. These are your better times. They are being activated on your behalf. Enjoy all of them on every side. Enjoy better times on every side. This is your moment for better times. Your moment for better times. Your moment for better times. Enjoy better times. Better times. Better times. Better times. Better times. In my last three minutes, let's go over here. Psalm 4, verse number 6. Um, NLT. NLT. Someone say better times. Better times. It says, many people say, who show us Better times. Then the question has the answer in the same test. Many people say, who will show us better times? Then the answer is right there in the test. It says, let your face smile on us, O Lord. So when he smiles on us, he's shining on you. When God shines his face on you, he gives you better times. Yes, Lord. Do so clapping, you got the revelation already. The Bible never said good times. He said better times. Because he knows you have enjoyed some good times. But the good times are not enough. The next level of good is better. And today I move you to the next level of good. Listen, any yes, kind sir. of something good you have ever enjoyed ever in your life, I came to declare in the name of Jesus, Jesus. may you experience yes, better sir. times. Amen. May better times be your portion. Amen. Say, I enjoy better times. I enjoy better times. On every side of my life. On every side of my life. Now, when the, when the Lord shines his face on you, he shows you his better times. He shows you everything is supposed to happen. The clear example, if the pillar of fire and the pillar of cloud that was moving with the people of God. Exodus chapter 13, verse number 20. This is my last text. Exodus chapter 13, verse number 20. It says, verse 13. Good. It says, the Israelites, they left supper and camped at Etham on the edge of the wilderness. Let me pause here to speak to you here. Pause it over there. Jesus. They left Egypt on their way to the promised land. And the Bible says the promised land is called the land flowing with milk and honey. The land flowing with milk and honey. But when they left Egypt, they didn't go straight to the promised land. They find themselves in the wilderness. The wilderness is a dry land, the desert, a place where there's no pasture. But God, you have promised me that you are taking me to a land flowing with milk and honey. But the journey there is not a good land. Yes, sir. So sometimes yes, sir. when I see myself in my wilderness, it's not for me to know that God will not help me. It's a sign I'm still on my way. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. So, anytime I move in my wilderness, I'm still on my way. 
because I'm not where God told me he would keep me, I'm not supposed to end at the wilderness. But many of us, when we get to the wilderness, we say, God, you're a liar. You told me milk and honey, but right now I am camped. They were camped at the edge of the wilderness. So when they turn around, everything is wilderness. But God said there's a better place for you. Yes, Lord. Today you might have been at the place of Jesus. your wilderness. Yes, Lord. But I came to declare. Now. Whether you like it or not, you're about to make a move from that place. Amen. Do you know that they're not supposed to camp over there? They were supposed to only pass through, but they camped. There's difference between passing through and camping. Let me repeat one more time. There's big difference between passing through and camping. Passing through simply means I got there and I still continued. But when they got there, they stopped thinking that was their destination. But their destination is not in the wilderness. Many people, we have settled at, at the wilderness. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we have forgotten where we are supposed to be. And sometimes you don't end at the wilderness by your own choice. Sometimes the devil can keep you at the wilderness. You want to move by something is stopping you. You want to move by your feet is still stagnant. But anything by the power of God, I declare from this yes, altar. Lord, yes, Lord. That has kept you in the wilderness. Jesus. Whether you like it or not. Jesus. I came to move you right now. Amen. Get out in the name of Jesus. In the wilderness of pain. Jesus. Wilderness of shame. Jesus. Wilderness of agony. Jesus. Wilderness of crisis. Jesus. By the message of... Listen. Yes, Lord. And whoever has been a spiritual watchman and security guard Jesus. that has kept you on that wilderness. Jesus. Today I came to block them off in the name Amen. of Jesus. You are making a move to your next dimension. Amen. You are making a move to the place where God has kept you. Yes, Today I speak in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Move from the wilderness. Yes, Get to your promised land. Yes, the land flowing of milk and honey. Yes, in the disease in your body that has kept you in the wilderness. I declare over your life, yeah. may you get out of that place right now. Get out from yeah. the wilderness. Jesus. Get out from the wilderness. Yes, Lord. You don't belong to the wilderness. Yes, Lord. You belong to the promised land. Yes, Lord. Now my last two minutes. Hear what, what it says. It says, it says, it says, let's go. So now in order to move from your wilderness to get to your promised land, there is something you ought to do. And what are you supposed to do? The answer is right there. He says, by the day, I'm ending on here. He says, by the day. Let's all read together with microphone. Let's go, man of God. By day, the Lord went ahead of them in a mm. pillar of cloud. Yes. To guide them on their way. So, daytime, God gave them a pillar of cloud. So, you can sit over here and imagine a pillar. A huge pillar. But it's not just a concrete pillar. A huge, white pillar. And it's called the pillar of cloud. Huge one, pillar of cloud. And the Bible says it's in front of them. So imagine a lot of people traveling, making a move, and in front of them a big pillar. And anywhere the pillar will pass, they also pass. Because in order to leave your wilderness to your promised land, you need the presence of God. And the presence of God is the face of God. Yes, Lord. When he shines his face on you, he gives you the pillar of cloud. Jesus. So now the pillar of cloud is in front of them by day. And God is so glorious that to guide them on their way. And when it gets to the night, the pillar of cloud changes and becomes a pillar of fire. So see a pillar full of fire and shows up in the night. Why these two? Can I tell you the reason? Jesus. God is so wonderful because daytime, daytime, daytime is the pillar of cloud. And this time around where they are traveling across, they are traveling on the scorching sun of Africa. Where they were is Africa. And mind you, they are in the wilderness. The wilderness is the desert. So picture yourself at the Sahara Desert. So the place has serious heat. So in order for them not to drain their energy, the cloud falls down to give them divine air conditioning. Yes. Oh, yes. oh, oh, oh. They've yes. been preaching this to you for a long time, but you yes. never saw yes. it this way. Yes. So yes. the cloud that came there, number one, was not to only lead them, but it gave them comfort. It was an air condition. Right now, when a cloud comes here right now, would the place be cold or hot? Cold. Will it be cold or hot? Cold. So God gave them divine air conditioning. That's the first time air conditioning proper one showed up. So they are moving about and they are not sweating. Now, now check the night. Now the same desert, when it gets to the night, it becomes very cold. So he gave them the pillar of fire. 
Now, the fire is not only for the warmth, but the next one about the fire was for light. Yes, yes. So when, when God shines his face on you, he gives you comfort, he gives you warmth, he gives you direction, he gives you light, and the last one, he leads you on your path. And today Sorry. I came to declare these five blessings. Jesus. May he lead you on every side. Yes, Lord. And may he clear your path on yes, every side. Lord. So every day of your life, just say to yourself, I'm walking about with the pillar of cloud and the pillar of fire. May they show up in my life. Man. May they be activated in my life. Yes, Lord. Shout, I receive it. I receive it. There's one woman here, Auntie here, um, has a grandchild. And the grandchild, they, um, they live in England. So the grandchild went for holidays. Auntie, okay, holidays no here. Oh, help me. First, first, first. Okay, holiday no here. They went for holiday at Turkey or in Turkey. I don't know how to say it or, or at. In and I say at. Oh, boy, at. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Jesus. So went for the holiday in Turkey. And they went to do this moto. Just before the grandson left, the grandson called, um, he, um, she called the grandson and said to the grandson, I have a mantle with me. Jesus. And, and the mantle I have with me, who took one of So the grandmother, Auntie Ajoa, gave to the grandson and said, As you are traveling for your techie holidays, keep it with you. Every day use it. The boy sat on that moto. Jesus. The moto somersaulted. The boy went unconscious. My God. Everybody, when police came, all the police said, it is over. The guy is no more. The boy still had it around him. They rushed the boy to the hospital. He regained consciousness. Now, when he regained consciousness, and now later they have to find family and everything. So the father had to rush there, travel there to go and bring him. It was a serious matter. When the boy came to land, land back to London and saw the grandmother, he said, Grandmother, that handkerchief you gave to me, where did you get it from? The grandmother said, Anytime I go to Ghana, that's why I get it. Then the boy said, Grandmother, everybody knew I was dead. But the moment I held on to that handkerchief, yes, Lord, I Jesus. came back. Can I speak to somebody? Jesus. Oh, I said, Can I speak to somebody? Jesus. No. May the God of all grace, God yes, of all Lord. power, no. May the God of the testimony Jesus. city yes, Lord. that has changed lives and transformed lives, Jesus. I declare the same thing over you. Amen. You hold on to your life. Yes, Lord. She said, the baby, I said, no. Baby, She said, baby, I 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 said, baby, Wow. Whatever you are, be on your feet. Whatever you are, be on your feet. Be on your feet. I'm telling you the truth. The boy was gone. Emma, until Nasukra, your problem, right? Now, see it again. I'm on stitches. The guy was off. Serious accident. Jesus. The ties were opened. Nasu stitches. Ananisa. It was right. tough speed. Some, it was just over. But thank God. Yes, Lord. He said, Grandma, this Jesus. is your handkerchief. I will never. I feel so be PB and what could see not just any My God. And the friends around said, There's no way you should have survived. So, A young guy that has left London going for holidays in Turkey. And what if he made the grandmother call him and said to him, get this mantle, travel with it. What made the grandmother? That's why you are supposed to be very spiritual. That's right. It is called divine promptings. That's right. It's able to help you to recognize. Some of you are about to go out. Something tells you don't go. Still you go. My God, my God. Somebody invites you for an event. You're about to go. All of a sudden, you feel basa basa. Listen to your inner spirits. It is God speaking to you. Because when God is shining his face on you, 
is not just for normal benefits. It's also the same pillar. Let me remind you, the pillar of cloud and the pillar of fire is to direct you. Yes, sir. So when he sends his face on you, he's directing you. Jesus. Pillar of cloud on the deserts. First air condition. Moving with them. So all of them are part of God directing your life. And today I speak from this holy altar. Yes, Lord. I speak by the grace of God from this holy commission. Jesus. Jesus. May he show up in your life in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. And this is the last thing before we, we make our first declaration. Because of this grace and because of this presence of God, and because of God shining his face on you, may strangers not be wicked to you. Amen. Yes, sir. Oh, you, 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 you don't, yes, you, 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 you yes, don't get sir. it. I Jesus. said, may strangers Yes, not sir. be wicked to you. Amen. But may God let people who don't know you, who Jesus. don't know your last name, yes, Lord. may they be kind to you on every side. Amen. One day I was ministering, Jesus. I went to Pastor Dennis Branch, and I was ministering over there, and I called a young lady. When I called a young lady, I told a young lady, you are not supposed to be in Ghana. What are you doing in Ghana? You are not supposed to be here. Why are you in Ghana? You're not supposed to be in Ghana. I said to the young girl, you are not supposed to be in Ghana. Why? I said, you are not supposed to be in Ghana. Why are you standing here? You're not supposed to stand here. Why has a, a lady like you taken your passport and put the feet on? Then the lady started crying. And I asked Pastor Dennis, confirm my prophecy to me. The lady said something so serious and strange. She got her visa to travel to Colorado. And after the visa was got, she traveled, left Ghana, and supposed to do her transit at Chicago or her airport. So she leaves Ghana, does the transit at Chicago. At, at Chicago, the immigration officer looked at her and said to her, I will not let you go. Jesus. And the lady said, I'm not coming to stay. Number one, she works for a government agency. So it is a whole government agency group that are traveling. They went to a good place. That, that, no, 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 no. I will not let you go. Only you, when I look at you, I don't think you'll go back. Jesus. Ah. She thought the man, woman was joking. He said, I'll not let you go. Put her on the next flight. And brought the lady to Ghana. And when I was giving the girl prophecy, I said to her that the person that met you on that day was a lady. And she confirmed it was a woman at the immigration checkpoint, um, so. home, um, Homeland Security. And I said to the lady... The problem is very simple. Your name, I called her name to her. I said, let me tell you the reason why this lady refused you. Your name, I, I, I can't forget the lady. I can't remember the lady's name. No. Good. I said, your name that was given to you, there is condition connected to your name. The one they name you after, the same thing happened to the person. The person was always rejected. So you are a reflection of that. That's why I saw a passport with your feet on it. Jesus. Lift up your hands. Jesus. We are lifting up one prayer. That God, if you are causing your face to shine on me, Jesus, order my steps and direct my path. Amen. Amen. Let me also tell you the same thing. The same condition, the same way to another person will get to the immigration checkpoint. And an immigration officer will do them favor. So I, Clear example is this lady's husband. Yeah, you. Wave your hands so that we can see that it's you. Wave your hands. Jesus. This lady's husband... This lady has always been coming to church. The husband, Mr. Otabel, she he doesn't want to come to church. So every day, her second prayer point is the husband. That's so right. Let him come to church. Oh, let him come to church. Oh, and when she comes to tell me, I say, I will not pray for your husband to come to. Church. I don't do kind of that kind of prayer. God has to touch people. Church don't force people. No, 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 no. One day she was there, then the husband followed her, and came to church. Now what was it? The husband. Is going to do is it master's or PhD? Master. He's going to do his PhD. So um, he's been waiting for a particular school and information and um, some stuff before he can go. No, no, he's been waiting. Uh, the thing is not coming. So the day the man came here, declarations were going on, and uh, somebody is going to hear good news. Yes, While she was sitting down, That's he right. got an email that the thing has come. That's right. Yes, sir. You are not clapping because you came to watch. Yes, Right. So when church closed and I was just on the compound, she walked to me with the man. The man greeted me and said, this is my wife. And 
Every day, I don't, I don't, I don't, she's been forcing me. Hey, your, your God is powerful. Oh. He said, see my phone, see my phone, email. He got everything to get to the school. Now, no, no, when the visa that he already had, he had over, he has stayed in Ghana for more than one year or two years. So if he goes right now, he will not be able to complete the full course of the visa duration. That's right. And he now told the wife, I will not go and apply for a new visa. The miracle I've seen in this church, Jesus. I will use the small visa to go. Yes, when Lord. I go, sir. Yes, Lord. Crazy guy. Crazy faith. Powerful. So the brother took the passport. About to travel, he came to see me and said, God be with you. When you go to Canada, checkpoint, immigration. The immigration officer said, do you know that you overstayed over there in Africa? And your course is supposed to last for some years. And with this visa, you cannot enter. The guy said yes. But the officer looked at him and said, I don't know. I'm about to extend your visa over here. Yeah. Oh, you are not clapping. Yes, Lord. And the officer extended to 2026. 20, That's right. 20, can I declare to somebody? Yes, Lord. somebody. I was there. He sent me a long text message. Then he added his favorite. This is me. This is me. I said, look at God. My God. Last two weeks, I was just there. He made the wife to bring me a lot of coupons for fuel. My he God. said, take this fuel for prophet so that he can fill his car. That's right. My God. Let, me, let me tell you something. Don't force me to put to church. This man, will you have to convince him now? He has seen that God is not far. That's there right. is God. This altar, God will show that there is God. Yes. And today, may God show that there is God. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your right hand. He said, hey. Meanwhile, Jesus. the same officer was telling people to go back. My God. They said, I don't know you, but I like you. O open it. Stamp. Pa, 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 pa. Extension. That's right. Lift up your right hand. Yes, Lord. Say, God of the testimony city. God of the testimony city. The hour has come. The hour has come. Let your face. Let your face. Shine on me. Shine on me. By your mercy. By your mercy. And by your grace. And by your grace. I can't feel. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, God of the testimony city. God of the testimony city. The hour has come. The hour has come. Lift up your mantle. Then he told me in the testimony of the prophet. Whilst I was there, the way I was holding my mantle. Jesus. He said, when the, when, the, when the officer said, you are not supposed to be here. He said he put the hand in the pocket That's and he what? showed the man and said, Testimony sitting in me. Jesus. Testimony sitting in me. Send it inside of his head and look at God. Oh, Lift God. up your mantle. We have come to a place where we believe God. We have come to a place that we hold God. We have come to a place that we know that God is not far away. God is close to us. That's right. And he held the mantle. And that was the testimony. Say, God of the testimony city. God of the testimony city. This is the time. This is the time. And this is the moment. This is the moment. By your grace. By your grace. And by your power. And by your power. Show up. Show up. On every side. On every side. Now keep your mantle. Say, God of the testimony city. God of the testimony city. This is the time. This is the time. This is the moment. This is the moment. Cause your face. 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 To shine on me. On my life. Now. Every area of my life. Where God. You have to shine your face. On my behalf. Shine your face. On my behalf. Somebody clap your hands. And pray right now. Somebody clap your hands. Somebody. This is between you and God. Let him shine his face on you by fire. By fire. Let go. Sign his face on you by fire. Let go by fire. Let go sign his face on you right now. Right now. Jesus. In the name 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 